All right, guys, so today let me show you how to create status indicator in MS project using a very simple method. So no formulas and no code, nothing. We can just use the default option and I'm gonna show it a quick and easy way so you can see visually all the tasks that are running late. <laughs> We'll start with a blank project, call it as two month project. What I wanted to show here is a flag that tells you if any tasks are delayed. So before we get started, go to project information and set the project start date as 1st of Feb and the status date as of today. So that we have month one, then week one, week two, week three, week four, then month two. Similarly, week one, week two, week three, and week four. And all this select, and you can intent it, Alt, Shift, and Right Arrow, or you can use this button. So for this one, I'll use the shortcut, Alt, Shift, and Right Arrow. All right, and all of this, let's make it as five days. So I'm gonna select all, go to information on the ribbon and say duration is five. We will do that for the month two activities. Let's say information, we'll say duration is five and you can do control F2 to link or you can select and do the link over here. And for Week one in month two, just put week four as the dependency, that is number six. So that now we know that project starts on Feb and goes all the way till end of March. Now we need to add a few more columns before I can show the flag that we were looking at. Insert column, we want the percentage of completion. Now let's say this is our project and we want to know as of today, what are late? Obviously here, none of them have started. Let's say the week one activities was completed at 100% and week two should be completed 100% as of today because it's Friday the 12th, but let's say if it's only 50% complete. Now we wanna quickly see which tasks here are delayed or late, right? So MS Project has a built-in column called status. So what it will let you know is which tasks are running late and the way it is intended is it will tell you whether it's on schedule let's say if it is 90 percent you can see the late will change from late to on schedule which means it's not complete but it is on track but let's say if it is only 50 percent then let you know that hey it's late it should have completed at least 80 percent to be back on track so that's what the status column is but if it's a large project it might be impossible to go through all of this one way to look at this you can filter just the late task and then you can get the status of hey what happened to this task right but when you filter it you lose all that details behind you know what is this waiting for and things like that especially in a larger project. So the better way is instead of using the status, if you want to add status indicator, then you can just glance at it and anything that has a red exclamation, that's the one that you have to worry about. So for me personally, anything visual, that's more easy for me to glance and identify the late running task rather than a text here. If you want to get to a, another level, you can add a text column here called text one, and you can add visual indicators to pick up the late task. So let me show you quickly what that is. Go to custom fields and use formula. And in text one, all we are saying is get the status, which is this column as a text so that we can use a graphical indicator. So I will explain you what this zero, one, two, and three means, but let me just fill it up here. 
If it is zero, that means it's complete. So if it is complete, we want green. One means it's on track or on schedule. Then we want to look at that as upcoming activities with an amber. Let's say number two is late. So we want to obviously show it as red. And number three is future task. So no color. So now when you look at it, you can see that anything that is complete is green, late is red. So in MS project, the status is stored as 0, 1, 2, and 3. So the complete is translated inside MS project as 0. So that's why for zero task, we marked it as green indicator. And for red, if you hover over the mic, uh, over the mouse, you can see number two because anything late is translated as text two or number two. So what is one is number one. So if I hover over here, you can see it's one. And let's say there is another task so that you see everything together. So let's go to task and insert a task and say week two non-critical task. And let's say this takes another maybe two days and it is dependent on the same as week one, which is number three. So you can see both yellow and red because it's supposed to be done by Tuesday so it's late and green is zero, yellow is one and red is two and the white which is future task is three. So the status internally in Microsoft is stored as zero, one, two and three. So you just can assign the graphical indicators to those numbers. So that's what I did here. So if I go to right click and say custom fields and if you look at the graphical indicators you would see i have assigned zero complete with the green one which is on track with the yellow two is delayed or late with red and three which is a future task with white now you would see that here it is not taking care of the summary task so no indicators there so in order to fix that right click custom fields go to graphical indicators and from here you just say summary task and summary rows inherit the data from non-summary task by doing that voila now you have the status for all tasks now this is a quick way so instead of just using the these two indicators and going through the highlighted red exclamation. You can also add this if this is easy for you. Um, but the only caveat here is, let's say this task, it's a non-critical task, right? It's not, it's not gonna impact the project. So even if it's a late task, it may be okay even if it's not completed as of last you know two nine because it's a non-critical task but the status here looks at an individual task and the end date and it compares against the current date which is 12 and then comes up with whether it's late or not so it may not be a true impact to the project but a quick visual indicator to let you know what individual tasks are running late. So just keep that in mind. And that's what I wanted to show here. You can play with different colors and flags depending on what you like, but just understand that you have status and status indicators in MS project available to use immediately. And if you want a traffic light of kind of thing, all you have to do is in the custom field, assign a formula to pull the status and then assign a graphical indicator 
to convert those status or return values to a graphical value. All right, guys, so there you have it. Hope you enjoyed it and it helped in some way. If it did, give it a like button. And if you're new here, consider subscribing for more project management videos. And as always, I'll see you in the next one. Take care. Bye.